Well, hi, thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I course. enjoyed the the pilot that we, well, I guess it was the first two episodes. It was like a double episode that we got to see. Um, so to start, for people who haven't seen it, can you talk about sort of why this is different than, you know, all the other Survivor shows that are on television? Yeah, well, what makes Survive the Raft uh, different is the fact that it's 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 not a game. You know, it's more of a social experiment. Uh, and it's based off an original uh, uh, social experiment from 50 years ago that was conducted by an anthropologist named Santiago Genovese. So 1973, very divisive times, much like today, you know, and this is around uh, towards the end of the Vietnam War and Watergate and Roe versus Wade and like this this time when the country was felt like it was being very much pulled apart. Uh, Santiago put 10 people on a raft from very different backgrounds, you know, different race, religion, uh, politics, all kinds of beliefs. And they floated from the Canary Islands in Spain to Mexico across the Atlantic Ocean. It took 101 days. And he wanted to see, would these people put aside their differences and work together towards a common goal? You know, can they can they have that humility and 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 put first and foremost like survival, you know at uh, at the at the uh, at the forefront. So that experiment went haywire. There was so many different, you know, uh, things that occurred. There was a near mutiny. Um, but at the at the end of the day, they did. They survived it. They made it. You know, they made the trip. They found a way. Um, and so we wanted to recreate that because once again, we live in these divisive times. And while, yes, we want to make something entertaining, and, you know, we have these challenges and there's money at stake and all these other things. There's so much more at stake, uh, I think, within these people, because we also handpicked a very different, uh, diverse yeah. group of folks and put them on this raft. And it's very close quarters. And they're out there, you know, in the Pearl Islands in Panama and the Pacific Ocean for 21 days. And they can't escape one another. You know, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Um, and but, you know, can they? Can they work together to survive this trip? And of course, we're throwing in all these different uh, curveballs left and right, uh, and these challenges for them to conduct. And but we also give them quite a bit of autonomy and freedom to like choose the way that they run their raft, you know, run their crew, um, and try to get through this uh, this experience. Now, you at least from your from the Internet Movie Database, you're generally an actor. You you haven't done anything like this before, as far as I know. So, what made you decide that you wanted to host a show? What was it? Yeah, about? you know, I, I, uh, I, so I was in the military for about ten years, and I spent, uh, uh, you know, time in I in Iraq and Afghanistan and all these other places, and then I played football, right? And so I was on a, uh, you know, I played college football at University of Texas, was with the Seahawks for a little bit, and and I'll tell you what, those the locker room in the football and the the team room in the military, very diverse places, you know, people from all walks of life, and you got to kind of put aside your differences and work together, once again towards a common goal. So. That was very familiar when it came to this show. And, you know, when football ended and I was out of the military, uh, I was so interested in storytelling and I wanted to be a part of that. And so I had, you know, opportunities uh, uh, and I, I worked very hard for these opportunities, but, you know, I, I got to to uh, to work on some shows as an actor. And then I had the uh, opportunity to host a show um, for, for NFL Network that was sort of like more of a Anthony Bourdain style series where we were hearing different people's perspectives about, you know, life in their football cities and all that. And, and then this came about, you know, and, and this opportunity with discovery channel and this series that I really think could help um, open people's minds, you know, and kind of change some perspectives and challenge our own beliefs and our own feelings about how, you know, we can work together with other people from different walks of life. So it's like, for me, it was the interest in, you know, the premise itself, um, this the recreating the social experiment. Also, I love challenges. I love competition. I'm a very competitive person. So that element of it absolutely is there. But then there was just this, this, this message behind it too, um, that I think is really important for our country and our world, um, that we don't all have to see eye to eye on everything. We just have to respect one another, be willing to listen to somebody else's opinion and, um, you know, kind of put aside those differences. And it's not easy. As you'll see 
with yeah. the show. It is not easy. I mean, there is yeah, some of them are trying too. It just doesn't always go with they expect totally. it to with what they exactly. Say. I mean, I, I I'm the same way. I mean, I I would like to think that I'm a very open minded person and I accept you know everybody's opinions and all that, but it's hard. You know, so you you hear things sometimes and it triggers you because it's like that is very different than what I feel. Like, how can you feel that way? And then, you know, you learn about their experiences and why they think this way. And, you know, sometimes you just got to let go of what you hold so dear and understand that that's because of the way that, you know, your experiences and what you went through. And that's why you feel so strongly about it, but it doesn't make it easy, you know? And, and we're also like, we want to be heard, you know, we want Uh people to understand who we are and where we're coming from. And that's what you get to see come to life. Uh, throughout this show because these people are passionate they care you know um they don't they don't have a a ton in common uh except for the fact that you know they they want to they want to they want to just like everybody they want to belong you know we want to be part of something great and you know we're competitive we want to win uh we want to we want to like get through it we want to survive um and and uh, just to see that all unfold i think it's so important for uh, the the viewers, the audience. I think it's a great opportunity for us to learn a bit about ourselves, but also to be, you know, just absolutely entertained. <laughs> yeah, yeah. well, it's definitely entertaining, but also interesting. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to see more. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamie. I really Thanks. appreciate you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You Have too. Good-